In the previous episode, you have learnt how to verify if a string is a palindrome or not using Java. Nevertheless, the program could not handle two cases. First case was this, when there were blank characters present in the string, my program failed. And the second case was this, when the program had a mixture of the uppercase and the lowercase characters as well, my program failed. How do I ensure that my program gives me the correct output even when I'll give such strings as the input? How do I ensure that my program in fact gives the correct output every single time? Let's explore. Let me begin by considering the new string object with the data as too hot to boot. The problem with this string is that it contains empty spaces between the words. When I had given this as an input to my program in the previous episode, it had given me a wrong answer. So how do I tackle this? Very simple. All that I have to do is to eliminate these empty spaces. And how do I do that? Well, there are inbuilt methods to help me with this. The inbuilt methods are present in order to help enable the programmer to achieve whatever activity one needs to achieve on the data. And in this case, my activity that I want to achieve is to eliminate the blank spaces. And if you ask me, which is that inbuilt method that I would be using? Well, I'll make use of the replace method. And in order to invoke any inbuilt method, I have to make use of the reference x. So all that I have to say is x dot replace the blank with an empty string. That is all that I have to do. And provided I execute that one statement, the change that happens internally in the object is this. So, as you can see, I have been successful in replacing the blank with empty string. And now, if I give this as the input to my program, certainly it would work fine. Anyway, let's check. This is the program of my previous episode. All that I have to do is to add that one line of code involving the replace method and I add that line of code. And now when I'll execute, this is the output. Well, I am getting the right output this time. So, I've been successful in tackling the first issue. Let me tell you how to tackle the second. Let me again begin by considering a new string object with the data too hot to go. As you can see, this time the data not just has spaces, it also has a combination of uppercase and lowercase characters. You know how to eliminate the space. This code is going to ensure that all the spaces get eliminated. And as a programmer, for me the problem still persists because I have a combination of both the uppercase and the lowercase characters in the string, which would make me difficult to verify if really this string is a palindrome or so what do I do? Very simple. All that I have to do is to convert this string all into lowercase or all into uppercase. That is all that I'm supposed to do. And how do I do that? Well, for this purpose, we have the inbuilt methods. In fact, for almost every activity, we have the inbuilt methods, just that you have to know which inbuilt method you have to use under what circumstances. In case I invoke the two uppercase method as x dot two uppercase then this is the change that happens internally in the object and in case i invoke the two lowercase method as x dot two lowercase then this is the change that happens internally in the object once all the characters are either in the uppercase or in the lowercase to that extent it is easy for me to verify if really the string happens to be a palindrome Anyway, let's explore. This is again the program of my previous episode. In this, I'm going to add one statement which takes care of the blank spaces like this. And another statement I would be adding which would convert all my characters to uppercase. Well, if you want, you can convert them to lowercase. Anyway, when I'll execute, this is the output. So, it goes to show that I have made my palindrome program to work on almost all the cases. Now you can check it with any palindrome 
and it would work fine. Anyway, to gain more knowledge, keep continuing to watch my videos.